And right now, embattled Congressman George Santos says he will Joe, not run for re-election. This after the House Ethics Committee issued a damning new report on his conduct. Ryan Nobles has the latest. Embattled Representative George Santos's days in Congress may be numbered. Well, he should be expelled. Uh, what he has done is violate the public trust, engage in election fraud. This after the bipartisan House Ethics Committee released a blistering report outlining a long list of allegations against the New York congressman. The level of misconduct here, criminal conduct, uh, is off the charts. I've never seen anything like this. Among the new revelations, that Santos used campaign funds to pay for his personal rent, to take out cash from an ATM at a casino, to spend lavishly at designer stores, for cosmetic treatments like Botox, and on the website OnlyFans, which is known for its adult content. Santos already faces a lengthy criminal indictment. The Ethics Committee referred their findings to the DOJ, which could add to his list of charges. As he left Washington, Santos was defiant. I think I said this very clear to you. I will take whatever comes my way the way it comes. I have no concerns. He announced he would not seek re-election, but vowed to stay in his seat, quote, up until I am allowed. But that may not be for long as a flood of members who once said Santos deserved due process before any talk of expulsion are now ready to kick him out. The Ethics Committee found that he did not cooperate uh, with the investigation, and I, I think he's been given the, the fair due process now. And for his fellow New York Republicans, that vote cannot come soon enough. The ethics report is not really going to change your mind on George no. Santos. Uh, George Santos is a fraud. He should not be a member of Congress. Well, that was NBC's Ryan Nobles reporting. A vote on the measure could happen soon after the Thanksgiving holiday. In order to pass, though, it will require two-thirds of members of the House.